Hi, Tusha Pinkface here, and welcome to my latest review of Urbo, developed and published by Door 407. A big thank you to them for forwarding me the key. As always, my review will be sincere. Receiving the key will not influence my opinion in any way. Let's start by setting the scene. Urbo is a cozy, atmospheric city building puzzle game where you build a town on countless floating islands. You merge smaller houses into bigger ones, then merge those into even larger structures, filling the land and increasing its population until the island reaches capacity, thus completing the level. There are three game modes. Regular mode. The premise is to build and merge your buildings, then merge them again, making combos along the way while receiving cards to help you progress. I found this mode extremely relaxing and engaging. There is sessional mode. This is where you have limited number of moves. And then you have puzzle mode, where you merge three buildings each turn to get a level eight building in the center of the play area. I admit this mode kind of confused me. So please write it in the comments below if you understood it and completed it. The challenges appear simple, but concentration is key as challenges reward you with new islands, levels and buildings. The graphics and music are incredibly immersive. The art style is minimalistic yet distinctive with smooth animations. Different varieties of buildings can be unlocked through various outcomes giving a sense of achievement. And playing this game definitely had a soothing effect on me. The ambient music drew me into captivating scene, encouraging me to keep playing. There are four different day cycles, morning, day, evening and night each creating its own ambience, making it very pleasing to the eye. I love the muted evening and night colours. They gave a stunning effect to the islands. There is no ultimate goal in Urbo. The rules are quite simple. Build houses in the playing fields of different geometric shapes. By matching and merging three of the same buildings, they will become bigger ones, increasing your population. The higher the population size, the more variety of islands and buildings you'll unlock. Once you have no free space, the territory may expand. I say may because I found on the first map this wasn't that case. I found it refreshing to be able to set your own goals. For me, it was to try and unlock all the different types of islands and villages. You may set a different goal. I have to admit I have not achieved that goal yet and I feel the strength of this game is that there is no rush, no time limit or ultimate goal. You can play the game how you want to in your own time. Going back to it is easy as there's no story to remember. However, I did feel a lack of explanation in the puzzle mode. Confused me slightly. Overall, I felt Urbo was a beautiful atmospheric puzzle game where puzzles meet city building. It's perfect for puzzle enthusiasts and fans of relaxing city building games. I have recently reviewed a fun simulation game called Tavern Management Simulator. If you've always wanted to manage your own pub and throw other locals, then this game is for you. If you're looking for a game that challenges your mind in a relaxing, immersive world, then Urbo is the game for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more game reviews. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the game or if there's something you would like me to review next. Take care.